This is Risha Walden with Walden Interiors. Are you overwhelmed with the choices available uh, in home design showrooms, in furniture showrooms, uh, with fabric, wallpaper? I mean, is it just overwhelming? Because it can be. It can be really overwhelming to go to want to create the space uh, for yourself. But then realizing, oh my goodness, there are so many choices, I don't even know where to start. Um, so that can that would seem like it would be a problem that if you could just get started um, and know where to go, then you could get your project done. That would be so easy. Well, I work with a lot of homeowners. Uh, that have just gone into space and got tons of ideas of what they want to create, what they like, what they're hoping to, um, how to make their home work um, for, them, for them and their lifestyle and their family. How do I get started with an inspiration for a client? I want to talk to you about the ways that make it, make it easy for me to get started with clients. Uh, it's, it's amazing how many clues uh, or uh, helpful hints that clients give me when I'm talking with them and when I'm in their home, uh, when they talk about the kind of uh, style that they want to have. Uh, and and uh, it makes it really easy for me to find inspiration to start the project and know what direction to take that will work for my clients. But, uh, you know, I've been doing this for a long time. I've been doing it for over 10 years. Uh, I've talked to hundreds of people, um, helped hundreds uh, with their home. And um, that's my expertise, that's my superpower, uh, is figuring that out. But how do you get started? Um, and I'm going to show you, tell you a little bit about my process and then my inspiration, how I get my inspiration and then how that gets me going in the project. So I clue into words that my clients are saying. They'll say, I really want it to be calm and open. And I start collecting those adjectives that they use to describe what their home is, what they want their home to uh, be like. Um, as I get them to visualize, uh, how they want to feel in the space and those words are so powerful those words can help inspire a space i start creating an image in my mind based on those adjectives those phrases that clients are using so if you're if you're if you want to get started start visualizing what the space is looking like and or feeling like and write those words down because you're going to conglomerate everything into uh, one visual idea and get going. So it starts off with words and then it starts off with um, what is happening in their current home or what they have in the current home. And that is what they like and what they don't like is just as important. And we'll talk about how the home works for them now and how the home isn't working for them. And from there, again, it piles on another layer of my understanding and get my, um, how I'm going to get inspired because there's always those things like, oh, gee, it's so noisy in here. And that may not seem like, well, that's very inspiring. It's just noise, you know, but that starts to tell me that I want to soften the space and I want to do that by layering. Um, so those uh, descriptions of how things are not working can add to my creation of their design. And then they will have pieces that they really love. And that is so helpful. They're like, I really love this sofa color, or I really love this chair. Well, why do you love it? And start talking about that and bringing those things together. Now, start writing it down because the more you write down, then you will be able to um, consolidate it into an idea for yourself and start doing those words, start using those phrases and visualizing. And I am visualizing the whole time my clients are talking as I try to become inspired um, to create the space for them. 
And those come from the words, from what I see. And then um, I start looking around. And now I look at product all the time. I'm always um, looking at new uh, introductions into the marketplace, uh, new fabrics, trims, window treatments, um, all these um, elements that create a beautiful interior space and allow for a, a functional living area for my clients. And I can just, I can be inspired by um, the color of the sofa, the carpet, the print on the carpet, um, the way the window treatments are draped in um, inspiration of photos. So I will ask my clients to gather a few photos that inspire them. And what is it about that photo that inspires them? Is it the feeling of the photo? Now you're unlikely to find a whole photo that says, oh, this is my room, I want it exactly like that. Well, maybe some of you do, but I think that's unusual because everybody is so different. They have their own little quirks and eccentricities, things that they like, they don't like. Um, they don't like mixing metals or they don't like in natural wood colors. I don't know, whatever works for you, whatever makes you feel good because this, your space should be your feel good space. It should be the space which you come into and you're like a home, gets you to rejuvenate, fill you up so that you can um, continue and grow and um, expand in your abundance. So inspiration comes from anywhere. I, if you look at the art behind you, art is such inspiration and there there's colors, there's movement and pulling those in to a room, into a space uh, to help um, elevate it so that you can be elevated. And that's why interior design is, is so important because it takes you out of the mundane and of the everyday and brings those pieces that really, um, those elements that can inspire you, that can bring you up and uh, improve your life, improve your life, improve your life with your children, with your family. Um, the interior design is so in, important for that reason. So inspiration can come from really anywhere. Gather those pictures, gather those words, gather those um, ideas, phrases that you are, uh, that, that you visualize, that you are um, hearing in your head, that you see in your mind. And as you uh, bring them together, you, you too will get inspired with those words. So I hope this has been helpful. I hope my clients um, all the time create spaces uh, that inspire them, that um, elevate them, that helps them um, live the life that we're meant to live, uh, full of abundance and, um, and move, move, allows them to move into a better, uh, feeling when they're home or in their office. Um, so if you need help, uh, please uh, reach out to me, DM me. Um, I also have an, uh, an ebook if you're interested. Uh, I'll post the link in my um, in the comments and you can go there and get an ebook. And this ebook is about how you can work with an interior designer, 12 Secrets. Um, about working with an interior designer and maybe you want to work with an interior designer, don't know how to start, don't know what it means, uh, this book can help you. I'd love to help you. Uh, I love interior design. I love creating spaces that make and allow people to live their abundant life. So have a great day and we will talk to you next time. Thanks.